Um, I just brought windmill, so yeah, it's not because I'm easy to entertain. Um, <laughs> just the, the idea is um, it's made up of three parts: the base, the stem. Really, we just use this analogy as study what we understand about God, what we learn from others, and then we've got pivot point, which holds the wings and the stem together, which is prayer and worship. No, fins is what we is our mission, how we express our faith. And the point of the mission really is to really get the boldness of it, we need to catch the Holy Spirit. So the thing is, we can build great things, but with the Holy Spirit it just becomes more natural, more alive. So the thing is, the situation is sometimes we've learned so much theology is that we spend all our time building a big step, but there's no pivot and no wings. So we have great knowledge, but no mission, and it doesn't really, just, you know, can't really do anything with just a big stem on its own. And also, with the pivot point, it's like our worship and everything. We make it too loose, the, the, the theory and the practice come apart, we blow away. But to actually, so what we need to do is actually bring that into context to bring the two together. But at the same time, we don't want to bring it too accurate and too restricted in our worship and prayer. So literally, if we hold it too tight, just put that quick blow. Literally, the fins would, the Holy Spirit would not inhibit our mission. So we just, just sit there, just blown away, and nothing will actually move. We do the mission, but the Holy Spirit will be restricted with that prayer and praise. Um, and also, things like if we don't put enough of our understanding in God as well, that our stem may become too short. We don't build on it. So we may have great, great mission, but no theology. So what will happen is our mission will just start hitting the ground and obviously restricting itself again. So also, we also think about our mission. Do we allow gaps in our wings to catch the Holy Spirit? Do we make our mission so rigid and so set there's no gap for the Holy Spirit to catch inside and drive it round? And also, with our prayer and worship, there's also this element which is what direction does prayer and worship bring us? So we can actually put the prayer and worship is not towards mission or where we need to be. We would just be facing the wall and not catching anything. But with, with spirit, it also comes back to us and we actually learn that we need to put, put our praise and worship into the direction we need to go. So the thing is, we face in the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit can catch the foils and start driving around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.